Well, uh, there's my title. I, uh, I'm beginning the first color printing for the four color uh, silk screen of my Flaming Ford print that I've been working on. And uh, today I just uh, finally managed to get the uh, first color printed. And this is uh, me uh, getting started on the press here. I have uh, already mixed my color, which the first color is a light orange. Uh, I thought it was going to be lighter than it actually is, but uh, we'll change it, make the next color a little bit darker. Anyway, I'm setting up the registration on the press as I go. Uh, I've already got it set for uh, the registration set for all of my paper, and uh, it's preset so that all I got to do is put it, when I put the paper in, I just uh, put it into the little plastic uh, slots on the bottom and left side of the paper. And it keeps each paper in the same place every time for this particular color. <coughs> Excuse me. I, uh, I've got my little uh, prop over there on the side. But before I lift it up on the prop, I, uh, I flood the screen with some ink. Uh, after printing, I, I, I run it once to print, and then I flood the screen again for the next print. Uh, taking the paper, and you, that noise that you heard was my my vacuum cleaner, which is attached to the bottom of this table that I built, uh, my homemade vacuum table. And I, I've got all these little holes under the paper. And, uh, I've got to figure out a way to put me an on-off switch right in front of me so I don't have to keep stepping over there and turning that thing on. But when I turn it on, it like sucks the paper down tight. There I go, turning it on again. And then I get the paper situated, or maybe I just turned it off. But I get the paper situated in the, uh, in the little registration tabs. And then uh, once I've got it all situated in the right spot, I want to go back over. Why is it taking me so long to do that? Uh, there we go. All right. Having an issue with the paper. There we go. Turn on the vacuum, and it's running now. It's making a noise, and it sucks that paper down onto the table. The reason I do that is that when I print, print, print like this. I go squeegee, I do one move with the squeegee down, like that. And then I lift the screen up a little bit and I flood the screen again with some ink so it doesn't dry out on me. I prop it up. And then I'm forgetting to turn off the uh, vacuum, you see, because it's, it's hard to pick up with the vacuum sucking you down. Oh. Wait a minute, why is it so hard to move? Oh, I gotta go turn the vacuum off. Dum -da -dum -dum. I turn it off, and I come back, and then the paper is very easy to pick up and hang up on the line. So that's the reason for the vacuum press. 